Well, here we go, guys. The Nordic Food Lab. <clears throat> they want you to eat blood, insects, brains to save the world. The laboratory, it started out in a boat in Copenhagen in 2008. And now they are in the lab. Who is they? They are scientists and artists, chefs and designers and specialists in education. They're all rolling up their sleeves. They're getting stuck in this cause to bring the world a whole new menu of insects and blood and feces. It may not sound particularly appetizing, but they are among the produce. We used to think of produce as fruit and vegetables, but no longer. Produce includes insects and blood and feces that we should consider eating if we want our food to be what? Sustainable and healthy. That's right. This is a deer's brain. Um, I thought Monsanto was bringing us sustainable, healthy food with their genetically modified organisms. Well, uh, this, this lab of people, this, these scientists, they, they, they want to try to work with every type of produce. Insects, blood, jellyfish, fermented products that sometimes smell and develop mold and the products look rotten. It's about giving people more confidence with different produce and reconnecting with the process of producing food. Why can't we reconnect to the process of the foods that we produce now? Well, it's one of the main problems with sustainability. If we are completely disconnected to food. Uh, sustainability, Agenda 21, United Nations. I will link below to this article, but I can guarantee you that the quote unquote elite are not going to be eating this, or maybe they will. I mean, they're into <laughs> these satanic rituals that they kill children. They drink their blood. And I can't believe I'm saying this. Just a couple of years ago, you would never have heard me say this, but the research that I have done, well, it's right out there. And unfortunately, there are far too many people who cannot even go there. They will not do any research to find out if what I am saying is true. You know, when you think about it, there's an awful lot of people who worship um, Jesus. Why wouldn't there be people who worship Lucifer? A lot of people believe in God. Why wouldn't there be people who believe in Satan? But these people who do believe in Satan and who practice Satanism are unfortunately now the heads of virtually every institution. They're in the White House. They're in Congress. They're in corporations. They're in our schools. They're in our churches. They have infiltrated all over the place. And when you read this article, you tell me if you don't feel like this is yet another way to degrade the masses to degrade the masses. They want animal blood to be an egg substitute. Um, and after all, young elephants, hippos, koalas, rabbits, pandas eat their mother's feces to introduce useful microbes. So <laughs> microbes that keep your digestive system healthy. So why shouldn't you eat feces to keep your your digestive system healthy. Well, I, <laughs> if in reading this article, it doesn't influence you to even consider becoming vegan. I don't know what else will caterpillar feces fermented used to flavor rice. Uh, you can read all of this other stuff, but the last paragraph is very revealing. 
Embracing other cultures is one of our main aims. Recognizing other cultures and someone else's values teaches us something and changes our approach to food. We are living now in an international system. Hmm. United Nations Agenda 21. And we should really recognize ourselves as world citizens. So, this is all about the transformation of our world into the new world order, which will be satanic. It will, they are enslaving the useful, uh, the useless, sorry, useless. Oh, how dare I call them useful, but useless eaters, training them to eat insects, feces, because that's what they think of you. Well, that's my take on this article. Click on the link below, read it yourself, and you tell me if you take away anything else from this. I, I think the last paragraph here sums it up. New World Order. And there are so many different ways, so many organizations, so that they are transforming everything. I mean, after all, Monsanto, with their genetically modified organ, organisms, the, well, that was supposed to sustain the planet, and that's healthy. So why introduce all of this? Uh, one of the reasons why we are so unhealthy is not because we're not eating feces. It's because the world has become a toxic soup that we are all affected with, that we are all getting sick from. The spraying that is taking place above our heads, the uh, genetically modified foods that have taken over our food supply, our water is poisonous, everything is poisonous today, so we're getting sick. So instead of taking away all of the toxins, they're suggesting you eat shit so that you remain healthy. Hmm, the link is below.